Coming up on today's Disney Roundup, food and treats that will be offered at Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, new details for what's to come for parks, experiences, and products at D23 Expo, and announced holiday festivities this year at the Disneyland Resort. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. Starting with Parks news this week, as we are just a little over a week away for the return of Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, Disney has shared a first look at some of the food and treats that will be offered at the event. This year, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party at Magic Kingdom is filled with plenty of new eats and treats as it begins next week, August 12th, and takes place select nights all the way up until Halloween. At Anti Gravities, you can find a Not-So-Poison Apple Pie Milkshake and a sweet candy corn soft serve swirl cone at Casey's Corner, the Pain and Panic Hot Dog, and Winifred's Elixir of Youth at Cheshire Cafe, Bink's Pastry Tail, and a Cold Witch's Brew Coffee. Cosmic Rays will have a Bayou Burger, the Friar's Nook has the Hades Hot Dog, and Un Poco Loco Tots at Golden Oak Outpost, the Spellbinding Fried Pie, the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor has the Monster Cookie Ice Cream Sandwich, and the Main Street Bakery has the Oh My Gourd Cupcake. Over at Pecos Bill, they have a sweet almond corn cake. The popcorn cart near Cinderella Castle has a Mexican spiced hot cocoa brownie. At Sleepy Hollow Refreshments, you can find the Grave Digger milkshake or a Worms and Dirt funnel cake. And Sunshine Tree Terrace has a jack-o'-lantern float. Disney's not-so-spooky spectacular dessert party held at Tomorrowland Terrace will also be returning this year. The price for that is $115 or $99 for Plaza Garden viewing on top of your event tickets. At the event, you can also find a Glow Mickey Mummy Premium Popcorn Bucket, a Donald Candy Corn Sipper, Halloween Candy Glow Cube, and Zero Popcorn Buckets. Currently, dates for the party are only sold out on August 16th and Halloween night. If you're going to Mickey's Not So Scary this year, let me know what treats you'll be getting in the comments down below. With this year's D23 Expo just a little over a month away, Disney has shared new details on what's to come from parks experiences and products. The latest projects in the works will be shared when Parks Chairman Josh Tomorrow presents A Boundless Future, Disney Parks Experiences and Products. Josh takes the hall D23 stage Sunday, September 11th for this presentation filled with see it here first moments and special surprises. From the moment D23 Expo 2022 begins, attendees will be able to explore the Disney Parks wonderful world of Dreams Pavilion and step right into new stories, attractions and adventures Disney Imagineers are bringing to life around the globe. There you can find more on the transformation of Epcot, new Frozen themed experiences, Disney Cruise Line, live entertainment, and behind the scenes glimpses of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Of course, the name of Tiana's Bayou Adventure was just revealed weeks ago, and with the current announced opening date of late 2024, I believe with this and what's assumed to be announced during the panel will give us more details on what we can expect from the ride's retheme. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned though, and I'll be covering all the news coming next month from D23 Expo, and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to or hoping to hear. Disneyland Resort has announced that traditional holiday festivities will be returning this year. Disneyland Resort will once again transform into the merriest place on earth for the holiday season November 11th through January 8th, 2023. At DCA, Disney Festival of Holidays will highlight a diverse season of celebrations including Christmas and Navidad, Diwali, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Three Kings Day. World of Color Season of Light will bring holiday magic by fusing holiday music with memorable moments from Disney animated films. Other holiday entertainment offered will be Mickey's Happy Holidays, a procession of Disney and Pixar characters dancing and marching along to the upbeat rhythms of the holiday toy drummers. The Disney Viva Navidad Street Party is also returning along with holiday themed overlays in Cars Land at Disneyland Park. Anna, Elsa, and Olaf along with Mickey, Minnie, Santa, and many other friends will be celebrating the season in a Christmas fantasy parade. In the evening, the festivities will continue with 
Believe and Holiday Magic Fireworks Spectacular, which features a magical snowfall and colorful projections on Main Street USA and the facade of It's a Small World. It's a Small World Holiday will also be returning, taking guests around the world as dolls and toys representing children enjoying the distinctive holiday traditions. And of course, Haunted Mansion Holiday will turn into Haunted Mansion Holiday. A holiday themed after hours event or the return of Marius Nights has still not been announced at this time. At the exit of Toy Story Mania, Jesse's Trading Post has now officially opened. When exiting Toy Story Mania, guests will now go through Jesse's Trading Post, the new gift shop inside Toy Story Land. The new shop is very themed to Jesse and Toy Story and has a few Easter eggs, including an Owl's Toy Barn price sticker with the cost of $19.57. 1957 being the year Woody's Roundup ended. Items you can find here range from clothing, toys, ears, mini backpacks, mugs, and more. Of course, all being within the Toy Story franchise. The exit of the store takes you out to the path with the So Long Partners Woody mural. Let me know what you think of the new shop though in the comments down below. Following the launch of Magic Band Plus, Disney is now selling the charging cables for their bands on their own. Last week, it was reported by many that after purchasing Magic Band Plus, the new bands came with low battery. This causing issue as when setting up the band, the firmware already needed to be updated and to do so, the band must already be at a certain battery percentage. Bands can only be charged with a specific cable and while Magic Band Plus already comes with one, Disney is now selling them individually. Individually. Individual charging cables can be purchased where Magic Band Plus is sold and is currently priced at $7.99. While it's uncertain how long a charge on Magic Band Plus will last as its use varies by person, according to Blog Mickey, charging Magic Band Plus from a low battery to full took them about 75 minutes on a portable charger. Now into company news, coming soon to Disney Plus, Disney and Pixar have released the first trailer for Cars on the Road. Cars on the Road follows Lightning McQueen and his best friend Mater as they head east from Radiator Springs on a cross-country road trip to meet with Mater's sister. Director of the series Steve Purcell says, like any real road trip, every day is a new mini adventure with unexpected twists and turns. In celebration of Disney Plus Day, Disney and Pixar's Cars on the Road will debut exclusively on the streaming service. September 8th, which will be Disney Plus Day for this year as it will lead into the D23 Expo. If you'd like to watch the full trailer, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Coming this fall, Lucasfilm has shared the official trailer for their upcoming series Andor. The Andor series explores a new perspective from the Star Wars galaxy focusing on Kassane Andor's journey to discover the difference he can make. The series brings forward the tale of the rebellion against the Empire and how people and planets became involved. It's an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue where Kassane will embark on the path that is destined to turn him to a rebel hero. Andor is an original 12 episode series with it taking place prior to the events of Rogue One. The series debuts on Disney Plus when Wednesday, September 21st, with a three episode premiere. If you'd like to watch the full trailer, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. All right, everyone, well, that's all you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all you for this week. Until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.